and welcome to this short video presentation with me today which is going to be a little bit of different than you're probably used to receiving from me today I wish to share a little bit about what's happening um, in terms of the consciousness and you know a lot of times people talk about are we moving in you know in separation are the world separating are the words uniting what's happening um, there's so much channeling out there um, I don't know because I don't listen to it, but I know there's so many uh, different streams of information that speak about things from different perspectives, as well as also much disinformation, which is misinformation that uh, creates a lot of fear and distortion within people's minds. I was lying in bed yesterday, and I know that during the time of the eclipse, we're all receiving important um, upgrades. Because eclipses are like doorways to other dimensions where interstellar consciousness becomes more susceptible to us. Um, and we can start receiving information that, you know, things just start clicking together. If you have been receiving certain knowledge, awareness, but you haven't yet put all the clues together in the right spot, this is what this time is about, especially during the eclipses. Um, the lunar and the solar um, coming up towards the end of the month. But as I was sitting yesterday and I was getting information, because I knew I'm going to get that for my next um, advanced level course on a solar consciousness and how do we work with the solar uh, blueprint, I was just getting also a lot of other information. Then all of a sudden I'm browsing through my phone and I see a picture that I made of my mother's recent mandala. And you know, she creates these beautiful energy essences straight from the creation level. And these are signatures. These are not just nicely painted pictures because the level where she works at is very refined. It's very pure. The thing about her is that she does not have knowledge about these things so she cannot distort, you know, information. It's just coming through as she's like a child. Her, her mind is potless. It's just so pure. It's like a translucent glass. And, you know, when she creates something and sometimes they give her instructions, which I receive from spirit, what she's supposed to create. And she's like, okay. And just recently we meditated with Jeshua and she said she couldn't believe the message coming through because the first words towards how we participate as soulmates um, and, and supporters divine um, in this divine communion. He said, I can't believe you're such a coordinated team. Um, team <laughs> he said you're amazing you can you're doing magical things together he said I cannot believe what a well synchronized um, team and couple you are uh, <laughs> couple um, the thing is that it's really beautiful we do co-create together in a way and you can see behind here <laughs> in the back is this multidimensional consciousness mandala which is one of my favorites that she made she made so many and you can see her page I don't share it very often because she likes to remain in the background but she also creates custom mandalas for those of you that are interested they're basically energy signatures for your soul uh, these are codes of light you, you can start tuning into and a lot of people um, start opening up um, due to this energy transmission um, because you know at our finest level the knowledge of creation really comes through these as we're coming into manifested form through these patterns of light so i give her every year not me personally but i get this initiative to um to tell her to create a mandala for the synthesizing energy of the current year so for this year i said please create a mandala for what this year represents in 2017 and the thing with her is that she does not read these books like from dolores canon or what's happening because they're not translated yet in her and uh, language in slovene language and um i usually tell her bits and pieces here and there and she's like what really you know she's like a child she's like i did this how did i do this you know why does it come together like this i say because you're connected we're all connected like this it's just that certain souls are because of their development and because of the level their purity is so intact they're able to you know to really tune into that more um, in a refined way because they have developed themselves in the mastery such a way I did her reading um, just recently on um, the upstream of energy coming you know it's above so below I really advise you to do that if you have any 
sort of um, interest and insight into your purpose that you do. I, I, I did this recently and I'd like to share this with you, those of you who are not perhaps tuned with me on Instagram. I share these things that are more personal based there, but let me just tell you in the videos for those of you who are tuning into here, there's a way how you can read as above, so below, these are the pathways that you've chosen as before coming here. Then there's a bridge connecting that and the realm of Earth where we are now. So I remember when I did her reading, um, she had mostly this upper realm was all ethereal energy and all of this other worlds and dimensions, and this is her gift. But she's not as equipped with words as I am. You know, her English is even, you know, it's very poor. She never learned it, and when she was young, never had it in schools. Um, but she speaks through the heart and her subliminal, uh, amazing knowledge of this of this frequency through color and these geometric patterns has been developing over the years as she's been more integrating um, her soul. So as I've tuned into her work with mandalas, they were getting more refined each time, right? And each time more multidimensional and more profound, more deep. So, okay, enough for the intro. So I hope that won't be too long again. I want to make this real short, but I want to show you um link is down below if you want to see all of her work um basically all of the mandalas are there um but i want to say that this one is very special because of the message it holds when i saw the picture again yesterday i couldn't believe i was just looking at it. i'm like wow are these worlds coming together coming apart and you know there's a message that came through with it so that's how her mandalas work so if you are interested and you want to have your own soul signature there's a lot of your mission codes in there which she receives um she only needs your name and that's basically all you know sometimes people think you need astrological dates um and numbers for that no why because we're each like a thread that descended we're like a thread of light that descended into our form so if someone is attuned to spirit in such a way they're tuned through spirit to your soul so don't worry about things like that okay um but I want to get to today's, basically this year's um, mandala, which is very profound. First, I'm going to just show you for a moment. Um, if you want to look and be more activated, um, look at the picture that's shared on our mandala's blog. And um, just see what comes through for you, because it's very intense. This year is a pivotal year. And when I've seen this, it's like, oh, you know, <laughs> last year's mandala was very beautiful. Um, I think it was the one that really brought forth the union of many different parts of us. But this year is all about the synthesis. It's like it's like worlds are colliding and yet they're separating in a way. And I'm going to talk about this further. But please know, <laughs> I just want to show you this beautiful work of art. See? I hope you can see it well. So, um, as you know, each mandala is... Okay, I'm going to show you a little bit longer, Spirit says. Okay, a little bit longer. Turn like this, a little like that, like to the side. I want to get it straight and it's hard. Okay, there we go. So, okay, I'm going to hold it like this for a while and I hope you can still see as I'm going to read the energy. So, um, when I have seen this, I was like, whoa, you know, for the first time, you know, I usually get like this and excited about her work. But I said to her, how do you know these things are happening? She's like, I don't know anything. <laughs> She's just drawing it. And I'm like, but you, you totally nailed what's actually happening because this eighth um, density, which you can see here, all the rainbow um, spectrum, all the colors for all those souls now at this timeline who are, it's like, this is like purely timelines meeting. This speaks of timelines meeting and converging. I've been speaking about the harmonic convergence for so long. This is the cosmic um, convergence. There's so much happening. That's why I put out a course. There's a five videos in the Cosmic Convergence, which is basically all of my knowledge shared there. And it's probably one of my most available courses because you get five videos. It's, I don't know, hours and hours length of material shared there from all my automatic writings and creation principles and templates and things we are to receive as a divine remembrance because the first part of our journey was really to synthesize all that, to attain our divine remembrance once again so that we can converge those timelines, those different aspects of ourself and this eight level, as you can see, eight pointed star is always about the oversoul. The eight density self is the oversoul complex. First, we need to tune to the seven density self. Um, this is the self that is, I, I like to call it the angelic self, is the real full you. No fragmentation, um, no you in other parts. <laughs> it's a like full unison of you. But then the eighth level is that oversoul level. And this is where I'm, a lot of people ask me where do I get my information. I get it from the eighth um, level or beyond, but most of the time from my oversoul complex. 
and this is the over lighting stream of divine intelligence which is divine light information it's not mental it's just pure codes of light coming streaming through i'm gifted with language so that's why i put it so easily into words she's more with these signatures through uh, these geometric codes and that's her language but um, it's beautiful and a lot of people, you know, when, whenever someone comes for a visit, which is very rare for us here in the Alps, but if someone comes, you know, and someone needs to be more open, but even people who weren't that open, they just stood and they just live in our mandalas like this, you know, because they are meant to activate you. They're just not just these pretty pictures of light. And I've seen even people who are not at open, they're not even on the, yet on this spiritual quest <laughs> on their own yet. Well, everyone is, but you know what I mean? So they're already looking and they're like, oh my God, this is beautiful. What is this? <laughs> and it's like, it just mesmerizes everyone because in person they're even deep, you know, they're deeper because you can literally see how she uses the colors to create depth. You know, she creates this through patterns. But again, let's go back to this signature for our year. I want to start now with the background, which is of the violet and then golden. This is really speaking about, first of all, you know, the violet flame of freedom and liberation. That does correlate with this, you know. It is when you come into your own full synthesized self, this the self where all your fragmented aspects come into unified self. You, you're finally whole because... You've done the work, you walk through all those journeys and you find the focus of your soul. You remember the ray of your uh, focus, purpose, origin. You create this template for yourself or you're going to create a little bit more void so these aspects can naturally start um, coming into cohesion and a correlation with each other because these aspects are co-joining. That's the first part. This is the personal part. And this, what's happening here, is more the planetary uh, level, stellar galactic levels altogether. But this is all happening simultaneously. That's the thing. When you understand the nature of time, the nature of different dimensions and realities as one, as a one illumined uh, cohesive uh, unity, um, togetherness of all. I call it the great allness of life and how everything in divine plan of perfection just naturally works together. You know, it's like a look at the sky, how's everything, you know, all the stars held together so perfectly. It's because of this, what I call the grand design. And this will be my book about the mission of volunteer souls and the grand design. But I want to say that the personal level, the greater planetary galactic levels are all cohesive. They're all inherently connected. And what she caught here and with the background is that we're still going through a lot of transformation, but it's going to be really owning up this royal code. And this is starting now with this eclipse because it is activating a royal code. Please read the blog <laughs> on my blog um, template, uh, the Diary of an Ascension Pioneer. Um, I talked about this, what's happening, what the eclipses are about. It's a lot about entering this new state of new abundance paradigm. Watch my previous video and the co-joining of all these parts really coming into this full liberation. But for that, we had to resolve so many falsities, I mean, falsehoods, um, so many illusions, even imprints of the negative entities who were here, um, creating lots of fear in this realm. And a lot of people are still falling for that fear. And a lot of times, don't get me wrong, but this fear is masked um, behind the false light. And it looks light and it looks beautiful and it looks like shared information. A lot of it is brought forth through channeling, but entities can jump in. Beings who don't always have the best interests of the whole planetary shift can come in, especially if there's a lot of ego correlation still within the individual who's doing that work. And I know perhaps none of that is intentional or, you know, it's on purpose. But when you develop, when you have this higher advanced discernment, which those of us who come here from the advanced realms and come here to bring this illuminated awareness to you, we will tell you the truth. You won't say it's all good and wishy-washy and lovey-dovey. We'll tell you how it is. And a lot of these distorted, even implants in the human DNA have been created so that people couldn't see what's actually happening. But this, you know, this is what this year was all about. And this is what I call the year of the star, the year of the star royal self lineage. Um, it's like the synthesis of everything we've been going through right now, even if there was um, very challenging times. Um, intense initiations for those of you, volunteer souls, star seated ones, light workers, it doesn't matter, all from the light worker realm, you're going through this synthesis. And it is this meeting of homecoming, the belonging within your oversoul complex. This will be more um, described in my book, which I'm working on, so that you have the synthesis of all this knowledge there as well. That's my mission to create the synthesis in a book form as well. But 
as you can see here, and it's not always like so obvious on the outside, it's just being transferred. That's why I keep holding it like this, you know, <laughs> although it's kind of hard, but um, I'm going to do it anyway. So when this inner personal synthesis, all you've done through, through your um, experiences, partnerships, um, you know, relating experiences you've had, momentary, fleeting, um, doesn't matter, long or short, it's just all been serving you <laughs> even the things we say well, this is from the falsehood or this is the dark agenda or whatever it is yes many times the agenda of the dark side <laughs> watch the star wars trilogy or what is it like septology now it's like seven parts i don't know how many they made but um the thing is that all of this is really happening a lot of the times um the dark <laughs> coalition <laughs> in a way it's just kind of like Imagine you're in a race, right? And you're constantly getting these um, wheels um, pushed, you know, under your feet so you could stop or you fall or something like that. It's like constant little, little crickling, you know, it's like little, like, you know, um, distractions. And what these distractions created, um, not just a lots of oh, energy drainage, you know, what is this, what's happening, but also a lot of strengthening, a lots of inner resolve, building uh, of our inner spirit muscle and our physicality. Because a lot of things that were done on this planet, uh, a lot of beings who were always attuned to the light, they grew stronger and stronger. As well as the other polarity part feels like, oh, it's getting weaker and weaker and people are, you know, everything's coming out and people's projected fears and illusions. And, you know, I get a lot of people attacking you from their own triggered fears and blaming you and whatever is happening. It's happening because there is a collision of worlds coming together. Um, and I talk about this in my multidimensional ascension course. This is my most advanced course. Um, I don't think many people are guided to it, but it shares this bigger understanding that I have not seen anywhere online before. No one presents it the way I received it purely from spirit that the, this ascension we're moving through now is this planetary ascension is a part of much many parallel um, dimensional experiences and ascensions that are in parallel occurring. Um, and I teach that in my course. So how you can work with that awareness and so you can come more into this piece that is simply happening. And you're not a passive bystander, but you're a conscious participant, and yet you are growing with it, with awareness and discernment. And I've never witnessed anyone speaking about these things like that, and that's why I feel the cosmic, uh, you know, information I've received that was coming over the years of my own awakening and remembering of my mission as a volunteer soul was so profound. And I still have people sometimes who say, knock, knock, you know, who are you? Why are you doing it like this? Did you ever have teachers? How did you know all this? How do you know this? You know, like people are questioning these things and it's okay. I understand because people are not used to you directly receiving from your oversoul because they haven't yet made the synthesis. Without the synthesis, you cannot have a pure connection. And that's why a lot of information that's coming through many individuals is still fragmented because they haven't done this work. You know, I've shared this with you before. There's many beings who are channeling and yet they weren't yet evolved on this template of the oversoul being. So their channeling also at times was nice, at times was a little more fragmented. And, you know, I sometimes stumble upon things, you know, people say, it's like, okay, that sounds nice. And then they say something which is total separation and gets me thinking, I'm like, what? How could this be such contradiction? And this is my main point of this video, what this beautiful mandala shows that this, you can see of the merging of different timelines, right? And this, what you can see in the middle here, the golden white and here, in the middle of each of these realities is the golden white, the creation light. I call these the seraphim level. This is the 144 pillar um, creatrix level of the foundational um, consciousness. Those who are the co-creator, uh, master, um, I don't even know how to say, say it um, in physical, but almost like the overseers, the grand designers in such a way. So this energy is always behind the scenes. It's always working. It's always a part of our life in creation. And sometimes on this more, um, if you just zoom in into one fragment, you might feel like, oh, you know, it's just like this is happening here in this reality and it's punctual and yet it's not. It's cyclical and, you know, it's spherical, it's spirit, it's a sphere, it's a spiral that is always moving. So those people who tend to say contradictive things, please discern your way through that information because um, the information should not be in contradiction with itself. It should, you know, as truth knows its source, love knows its source, and it's always love. It's never fear. Um, it's never in opposition to itself because truth has no opposition. It's not God and the devil or God or Satan because God as its pure consciousness has no opposition. It's just pure God consciousness. 
um, the moment we start entering into the polarization, we're already entering into worlds of density and matter even. So this is a totally different experience. I know a lot of the things I say for me, they're very self-obvious. And for a lot of you watching, perhaps they're not so much. And it's too advanced, as some people call it. And it's okay, because you know you can use tools like this, which will go directly into your soul and you won't receive it as words, but it will go into your own soul complex and you'll just attune to it through purity and you're, you will process it. It's working on your DNA level. And those are the things that are basic. So when you look at information that's misleading a lot of the times, a lot of it is based on mental activity, mental programming. All the programming on this planet has been based on mental programming. And because thoughts create, that created also a lot of physical expressions and distortions that became as the world as we know it right now. And so much fear being created and lots of this um, lower wham frequency on this planet that creates even the vessel of our physical bodies that is a direct translation of our physical DNA in such a way. And through so much distortion that we don't have the full capacity and full potentials and gifts as we do here on this oversoul complex. So, you know, when you read books like from Dolores Cannon or perhaps other books that always speak about uh, the super consciousness called as we, that's this group consciousness, the oversoul level are beyond. So when this collision is happening, as you can see this, right, this you, you are this star, your work as this inner oversoul integration is so important. Why? Because it's you as this uh, fractal, you know, this is the fractal nature of creation. You influence everything. And you might perceive all these worlds and realities and dimensions. And sometimes people feel so overwhelmed and they're like, no, so much is happening. I'm just this little dot. No, you're not. And this is the energy of this, this year is asking you, me, us um, to step up into the understanding that we're creators and we help to shift those. Um, you see these timelines. They're here like these different lines. And they all coexist within a spherical consciousness, which in a way can never be separated, right? Everything that you draw in a mandala, you always draw it in a circle. And even things that, you know, when you're looking at a picture like that, a lot of people, the first thing they might ask themselves with this abstract art would be like, is these two spheres, are they moving together or apart? And that's the main message because a lot of people talk about the new earth as in moving away and separation from the rest. Some people say Earth is just going to stay this flat, whatever, third density, um, whatever it is. And some people talk about it in a very fear um, and demeaning kind of way and people get scared. And whenever you feel that, get away from that because the information should not make you feel fear because it does not come from the level of understanding that divine plan knows what it's doing. And you perhaps are a part of consciousness that is not yet fully aware of itself so you don't have the understanding as the greater divine self does but you're a part of it nonetheless. This is what this, I feel this most speaks to us about, is all these timelines, all these different realities that we've been tuning into, not just this personal, all these different rainbow aspects of our human self, and the complex, uh, and the complexity also of our oversoul nature, which is all these different individuals, full individuals of the soul uh, self, and being a part of this greater oversoul uh, level, um, um, how do I call it, essence. But it's also happening as in planetary and stellar aspects that are ascending in a bigger level. So the coming together and the separation, what Spirit showed me, is both one. It's not, again, even that which we feel is separating. It's basically even that which does separate, it does happen because of the love that makes things um, move into the direction that they're meant to be moving into. It's almost like, let's say you have a partner, you split up, they're all of a sudden, they're your ex. So from the time when you were there before you were their partner and they were everything to you, from this other uh, time when you're already like, wow, that's my ex. And you have a whole different um, array of looking at them in a different perspective, but nonetheless, they're both coexisting at the same time. <laughs> they're your partner and yet they're your ex. Do you know what I mean? It's kind of very hard to explain these things. So if you want to go deeper, if you want to have more remembrance, just get the five video series I have, um, the Cosmic Convergence Workshop with five videos, all in the nature of time, dimensions, realities. It's very important for this part. Um, and you can just then progress later. Multidimensional Ascension is one of my most advanced courses. It's one of the last ones I made, but it's, it's, very, it's very deep and it's very profound and beautiful. So when you look at this, 
And when you to connect to yourself and you go beyond all the fear, what's really happening in this planet? What's really, you know, what am I here? You know, this year has so much potential for us to see the separation also as part of unity. So if you have someone you've separated with and they were in the right partner for you, that separation was within your union. You see, we see it as in separation. Oh, these two people broke up, right? Must be separation. How bad is that? Well, that's the mind telling you that. But the overall seeing nature of divine source as this perfect orchestrator of all is always love. Creation is pure love and love knows its source and it knows where you need to move next and what's your true divine heritage and what's truly on the path of your purpose and what is not will just never be. So even what we perceive as something that's moving away from each other is basically because of this pulse, right? It's also the coming together of something else. So it's all in the matter of consciousness. It's those who have attained this level where will be more multidimensional in this thinking. They will be more sovereign, more, more not so linear, but more multi-layered in their thinking. That's the true nature of multidimensional essence of who we are. And people who see things still as linear, they will only see separation and they will see, well, the words, worlds are coll um, colliding and coming apart. You know that um, question, is the cup half full or half empty? And each person will give you a different answer. <laughs> you can say neither, you know, it's, it's both or whatever. But you can think differently than, than just this or that. And I've been talking to you about this a lot before, that it's never in unity consciousness things are seen as black or white right or wrong, this or that, fixed, linear, rigid. Um, you have to start opening up to new perspectives. And if you're finding yourself still swimming against the flow, well, let the flow become you. You know, perhaps you need to even let go of certain concepts of spirituality or metaphysics even that you've held on for so long and perhaps even that no longer serves you because your oversoul complex knows what's best for you. This is your direct DNA, light DNA knowledge that can with your expansion and your body being purified, that's why in my videos during the years, I've talked a lot about light diet and how important it is because when you move through unity, you will know that every choice you make affects the whole, even what you eat and put into your body. It, it cannot come at the expense of something else. And your vehicle, the purer it is, the more it can receive this divine mana and from your straight cosmic knowledge. Um, everything is already within. So this code, what I've read from it is that um, so many people now will be moving into this, into this synthesized essence. A lot of us have done this um, a few years back, but this shows me that this will be happening for more people who are now ready. A lot of these people were guided through my videos over the years. You know who you are. You're doing a good work. That's all I want to say. Please don't be too demanding of your time. Don't be so hard on yourself because sometimes people are like, am I doing everything the right way? Is this the right thing? Should I not be watching this? Should I be doing this? You know, I really recommend this um, tantric breath when you just breathe through your um, through your belly and just release through your crown and then just let everything come to you through the synthesis um, of your own spirit, bringing um, everything to you that you need in the form. So are the worlds um, moving away? Are they moving together? It's, it's all about everything that you will experience now as within the newer template is about where you will stand from your perception. And there's those of us who will only see unity and there's those who will only see separation. And I think this is what this um, mandala for this year is um, trying to show us. And it's so purely made that when I saw it, I'm like goosebumps. <laughs> it's always. And I wanted to show it to you one last my last trial. I hope I get it straight this time. Why can't I do this? Okay, like this and a little bit like that. Okay, zooming in, zooming out. <laughs> okay, guys, I hope you had enough of me. I said it will be a short video. And once again, it's not so short. So please do forgive me with that. I just go with the flow as always, doing my best. Um, whatever you can do, um, I always advise everyone to be so discerning because things like negative implants um, do exist. And new age distortions do exist as well. Um, I'm not saying all of the new age, but a lot of the channeling has been infiltrated on this planet. There's a lot of people who say, I channel this and I channel that, but there's also other energies coming through. And I remember when sitting with this channel um, and someone was saying nice things and then all of a sudden they say, oh, and what about those Pleiadians? I really don't like Pleiadians and it's supposed to be a master being, right? And I'm like, what? Who just said this? It's not this light master being. And I was like, I'm like what? 
And I remember someone years ago telling me, you know, who hates Pleiadians? I'm like, who? He said, well, reptilian consciousness. I'm like, yeah, must be so. And I started to laugh because when you're discerning, right, you'll be able to watch anything or whatever it is, but you'll detect it. The moment something is off, you'll be like, who just said this? Um, the energies can change through someone's channel. Um, entities can come and go because if you're not, if you're still fragmented, it's how it will work. Sometimes people ask me these questions via emails and they go like, why are you saying these things? You know, I don't understand them. Well, I can't make everyone understand everything at the same time. Just trust your process. Trust that you will understand things as your soul evolves because it is evolving and during this one life, there's such huge evolution present. Never so much in just one life you know what's provided and available for people because of the shift that's not just happening on our planet but it's a parallel ascensions and galactic change all together in many multiversal realities all as one and although you might not get the language um it doesn't matter just feel it in your heart feel it that it's all for unity feel that it's okay feel that you don't have to anything do anything special or feel fear for what's happening because the divine is behind this the divine is propelling all these changes and if any material or channeling makes you feel fear or separation and someone puts labels like oh you know like oh i hate those pleiadians it's like who's saying that because a being of pure love would never you know segment things like that um and ask yourself those questions always who's really saying that and what am i tuning into and what am i giving my energy and what am i giving my time to because time is energy so watch your resources make the most out of these resources coming through your own source that's why i'm saying do the energy work um, do things like that if you can do your own channel mandalas that's good too um do the light um, um chanting uh, working with the white light this is my biggest part of my mission is the white light and unity the fourth ray of synthesis and unity consciousness um that's my ray of embodiment and i always tell you work with the white light even if there's implants distortions there's a lot of these false grids that these negative et entities created so people could not see the, the reality so they create a lot of these false persona selves or you know infiltrations coming through what they do is they put a lot of nice information out but there's also little codes of disinformation in it and people who are not aware they're tuning in like radio stations they're putting everything in their aura so they're receiving from these sources like okay yes they're just being hypnotized more and more instead of those of us who are actually always calling you to do your own work of mastery because that's the only way you will be attuned to your own source and with that you will always know where to be um what to choose and um you know just uh basically will know your source you know how how to be and um just what to do in each moment you will know okay i hope you like this video it was longer than promised in the beginning oops got you again <laughs> You're probably like, why is she always saying a short video and then I have these long videos to watch? Um, those of you I understand and trust who are guided to watch, you'll always stick until the end. I know who those of you are. You've always been so devoted to your inner work. Um, you've always done inner work because that's what gets us to where we need to be. Pure channels, you know, no more of these distorted illusions being sold to the planet because it's really, it's not worthy of who we are and our truth. So watch for what you're choosing watch what you're absorbing and how you're interacting with the world as well you know you know it's always these three level creation is always threefolded source creation and the one who experiences that creation and that's our inner divine child i love you all so very much if you're guided to reciprocate and mutual energy exchange for my videos you're always free to visit my donation page or patreon channel whatever um i'll talk to you soon and um I'm still continuing in continuation process of writing my book. If you want to support that, that's also very welcome. Um, I hope it's going to come soon. Although there's a lot to synthesize in just one version and one little pocket of information. And I hope you will have a beautiful eclipse experience. It's a big one. And during the eclipses, that's a big time to receive these new upgrades and our new initiations. And as always, with so much love and joy, I greet you <laughs> in Lakesh as one family, always for unity consciousness. And watch your energy because a lot of things are being sent sometimes, as I said, is to distract you from what's really important. So when you keep your energy pure and you see distractions or people's egos and things trying to infiltrate you, just say, no, you know, I have the right to choose. And I am simply here as an example. I cannot do anyone's work for them. I can only be of assistance when each uh, participant member has an equal amount of 
trust, sacred space for trust needs to be developed, honoring each other, and of course, really um, respecting each other and our own uniqueness and our own um, work of light that we do each um, similar importance all together as one. I love you so very much. Love is in the power, and I'll talk to you again soon. Take care.